Hey everybody, today I'm going to quickly show you this uh, new angle grinder I bought. It's an Einhell Classic TCAG115. So I'm going to open it up, show you what's inside, and test it out. Actually, this is the first angle grinder I've ever bought. I've owned an angle grinder. Uh, my father gave me one many years ago, and I used it a lot, but I never have actually bought a new one myself. This is the Einhell brand, and you may remember from other videos, uh, I have some other Einhell equipment. I have uh, Einhell drill press and bench grinder. And so far, I like the products. Definitely, they're kind of on the cheapish side, but they're definitely better than others that are out there. Well, I guess I can start off is the price. This one costs uh, 39 Swiss francs, which is you know, about 40 bucks. Um, there are cheaper ones out there, for example, in the Leroy's or Leroy or whatever it is in France, you can actually get an angle grinder for like 10 bucks. I don't know how they make an angle grinder for 10 bucks. If it's the same size as this, basically the same thing. Uh, but I, I, I like this Einhell brand so far. It's worked good for me and uh, being that I'm in Switzerland, it's better to buy Swiss electronics because then I don't have to change the plug uh, outlet or anything like that. So, you know, 40 bucks is still pretty low price in my opinion. So anyway, hopefully it'll work good for me. Let's open it up. Oh, by the way, I did already open it once and I bought these, uh, this grinding disc and this cutting disc. So those aren't included and I just stuck those in there for my convenience. So it doesn't come with any discs. Uh, it does include, looks like a handle and a, a tool for, for changing the discs. The one I had back in Florida didn't, I don't think I either I didn't have a handle or the handle had been taken off and lost because I never I never used this. I might try it though. And that's just the uh, tool for changing the disc. Here's the uh, the guard. I've seen people use these without a guard, and I think mine had a guard, the one in Florida, but I don't remember for sure. So I definitely will put that on. You know, speaking of, of uh, safety, these tools are probably, to me, are one of the scariest tools out there. I don't know, when I was younger and I was using it, I never really thought about it and I was never really afraid to use it, but when I watch videos of people using these and when I just think about how much damage it could do to you if you're just grinding along and make a, you know, a slight wrong move and this thing's going whatever, 10,000 RPMs, I have no idea. You know, I could imagine that could really, really hurt you badly, so. Anyway, uh, this one, t just to show how it operates, I, I saw in the store they had a demonstration model. I guess this is also a safety feature, although I don't think I like this so much. You have to push this small button on top of the big button to the right before you can push it on. And then it stays on, which is kind of cool, But and then you push this down to switch it off. So, on, off. This is probably a lock for the... Uh, yeah, it locks the motor and stuff. To me, the build quality here feels pretty good and solid. I'm kind of impressed by that. I don't, you know, this plastic feels strong. There's, yeah, nothing I can complain about there so far. All right, so let me get this put together. Looks good. All right, so I'm gonna go put on my safety glasses and we'll try to cut something. So anyway, that concludes the unboxing, the testing, uh, you know, whatever of this uh, angle grinder. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.